behind behind the toilet specifically is that no one uses the urinals ever. Like, I'm in the toilet, right? And I'm like, this is like a, a, a fucking. I apologize. I really do. <laughs> People, you know, dressed in thobe, standing by the mirror, fixing the cobra, fixing all this thing, all of this stuff. And I'm walking by, I'm like, dude, I want to eat, but I gotta go take a leak too. And there's so many people in the toilet, and my cousin's like, just go in and try your luck. I go in, and all these lines, this whole queue is just for the stalls. I look at the urinals, there's like 20 of them, and all of them are free. So I'm like, very nice, very nice. I'm gonna piss a little bit in this one, and then piss a little bit in this one, and then piss a little bit in this one, and then piss a little bit in this one. But like, I had, a, I had a show recently in Australia, right? And I've never been there. And it wasn't really a show, it was like a little two, three minute thing, which I feel really great about. I sucked, but you guys don't know. <laughs> so, uh, I had to get tested for swine flu before traveling. Because everyone's sweating the whole swine flu thing, everybody's sick, people are dying, people are doing this and people are doing that. So I'm like, sure, I'm gonna go get tested before I go, just in case I get it on the way back, I know who I can sue, if I can find them. So, I go to the toilet, and I'm thinking, everybody's sweating swine flu. Everybody's talking about how bad swine flu is. Sanitize sanitizers are like going out of stock. Prices are jacked up. I mean, before swine flu, I didn't know what hand sanitizer was. I thought it was a jack-off cream. <laughs> I apologize, I'm wrong. I have to slip that one in. So like, you know, the schools are all shut down because the teachers are afraid of what the children might have. You know, but the nightclubs are still going on, what's up with that? <laughs> so I go in and I'm thinking, even though everybody's paranoid, this is still Bahrain. You know, people are laid back, everybody's chilling, everyone's feeling good. I walked into the toilet, the toilet, I walked into the hospital. And it was a different case. It was, everybody was sitting there, I felt like I was in the old Bruce Lee movie. Everybody was in a ninja mask. <laughs> just looking at me, because I'm like there, with a sleeveless shirt, shorts, and flip-flops, and no mask. If you guys really think about the whole mask theory, it's supposed to protect other people from your germs. So if I'm not wearing one, I'm not sick. You guys are. So like, I'm over there, and it's a Bahraini hospital, you know? Patients from one end of the room all the way to the other, and then about two doctors in the building, and one of them's on a coffee break. So there's everybody sitting over there and they're looking at me like, I'm not going to give you my seat. So I needed a plan. I walk by, sorry, drum set. I walk by and I'm thinking, all these people here, they're all afraid of swine flu, must be. So I walk by and I'm like, and they don't budge, they don't move. They all think the mask is going to protect them, but it doesn't. So I'm like, okay, one more time. Nothing. So I'm like, I gotta improvise. I walk by, think a little bit. <laughs> and then, I had a whole row to myself. I tried that in the airport once. Not a good idea. 